Hi, this is Lindsay, the LED lady. We're here at Light Fair International. I'm here with Global Tech Lighting. And thank you, Richard, for inviting me to talk with you. Thank you very much for coming in. So we talked last year, and for those that want to check out last year's video, go to ledlady.com. We talked about the products that have been employed and deployed all over uh, the country, even probably the world. And uh, show me a little bit about what products that have been your, your true, your tried and true. Well, the, the concept of what we really do is create light engines and then we take our light engines and either apply them as a retrofit or in a new fixture. So we actually give everybody the opportunity to get the best of both worlds. If you don't need a new housing, you could just attach our plate. Our basic program goes with two different sizes. We have the 5498, which is four different wattages in one housing, and it'll do 75, 85, 95, or 135 watts. So we'll replace up to 400 watt metal halide with one unit. Then we have the small unit, which is the M21, which does the 30, 40, 50, and 60 watt package to replace anything between 50 watt HID all the way up to 250 watt. So it gives us a good platform to give you good light levels and good light output, but it also is scalable. So if you have uh, greater needs than what's existing, we can put two modules, three modules, four modules together, or as you can see, eight modules on a sports lighter and give you truly the only sports lighter in the industry that will give you one-for-one -one replacements against existing HID and not sacrifice light level. Well, and I understand there's a fan on the top here. Tell me a little bit more about this fan and why you guys chose that as the design. Well, the fan is a maglev fan. It really is just two magnetic fields rotating around each other, so there's no bearings to fail. The fan has the same life as our fixture, so we don't have failures on the product because of it. And the reason we use a fan is because we don't know what environment you're going to put our products into. So I've seen a lot of manufacturers that have retrofits that really don't do well because the housing does not allow them to breathe. We don't have that problem because we actually provide our own cooling. So that's why they do last and they work in anybody's fixture. Well, especially if we're talking about the shoebox fixtures that are found all over shopping malls and parking garages everywhere. Uh, those are tight fixtures. You, can, you don't want to put holes in them. That's correct. You want to keep it weather tight. Right. So tell me a little bit about what's the new product that you're excited about. Well, a couple of new products are launching this year. We just launched at this show our Mini AC, and we called it that because it is the M21 body, but we put a socket on the back. It has a driver on board, and it literally allows us to screw this in place of any PAR 38 lamp and give you 4,600 lumens at 50 watts, and it's AC dimmable. So we can put it on a phase dimming system, both reverse and forward phase dimming and it works fine. So it's a 12277 volt product. It's universal, screws right into the socket and you can just replace it. We do do a lot of churches right now. We're doing a lot of atriums. Um, we also have a, a lot of hos or, uh, hotels that are using them inside their ballrooms and things like that. Absolutely. So you mentioned something about a crystal quartz earlier when we were talking. Uh, what is the typical wattage that is found that this would replace that's in the uh, retail outlets? We usually look at uh, anywhere between that 90 watt to a 250 watt par halogen will be replaced by this. So there's a lot of still 150 watt pars out there that I can screw this into and give you the same amount of light and the long life that you expect from an LED. And I would imagine while it's the same amount of light, it's better light because of the color rendering. What kind of color rendering does your product provide? We can actually do up to 90 CRI. So, and I always look at color rendering as being kind of a confusing part of the equation. 70 CRI LED is still superior in color rendering to 85 CRI fluorescent because you really have no red spike. So where you lack in the red in the fluorescent, we actually give you in the LED even though it's a lower CRI. But we do have the ability going all the way up to 90, 90 to 95 CRI. And you can do multiple temperatures. If people want something warm, how warm do you get to all how, how cool temperature do you get? Our usual standard is 2700 Kelvin all the way up to about 5500 Kelvin. We do have the ability of giving you different color temperatures and different color renderings. Wonderful. Well, thank you so much for the information about what's new, what's been around and is tried and true, and for your time. Thank you very much for coming in. This is Lindsay, the LED Lady. We're here at Light Fair International. Thanks so much for checking out the lower wattage, Global Tech.